Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin and I'm an Inkscape developer and I develop features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, basically, um, my sponsors on Patreon and LibrePay uh, give me the funds necessary for me to spend time working on developing Inkscape. So the first thing I do in these videos is I give a big shout out and a big thank you to everybody that helps me. Uh, the people that uh, sponsor me, but also the people that are helping me with testing and various other things. Thank you so much. There'll be links in the description if you want to join them. And uh, yeah, let's get on with this uh, update. So um, the last video, I there was a whole bunch of things, but specifically about cursors. Um, I managed to fix some things in cursors. And um, one of the ideas that I had was that I was going to uh, develop a, a, um, a user interface feature for putting hotspots. Um, basically, hotspot is where the where the cursor point is, right? So if it's a pen, it's the pen nib. If it's a dropper, it's the dropper mouth, etc. And so I, th I, I figured a user interface would be good as a developer tool. And I might, if I could inspire uh, con other contributors, be able to get them to review all of the cursors that we currently have and fix the hotspots because there are a lot of hotspots they're all all of the cursors were set to 4 4 i.e the hotspot was always at pixel 4 pixel 4 which is wrong for a lot of them and um they all had like invisible um hotspots which basically means that there was no graphical element where the actual 4 4 position was um that's not good Unfortunately, it didn't work out as I expected because I expected uh, to be able to entice, for instance, the uh, Dash contributor uh, to correct their hotspots or maybe one of the other uh, designers to basically want to contribute something easy now that I had kind of developed this user interface, which made it kind of easy to go in, open a cursor up, see where the hotspot is and move it to where it needs to be and then save it, right? Unfortunately, I didn't get help. <laughs> what I got was testing. It's not nothing. Um, so basically, I had a whole bunch of complaints about the cursors. Um, some scaling issues with GTK4. Uh, that's because of a new interface. Uh, PBS has been helping basically update the cursor interface with GTK4. This allows uh, better scaling on Wayland. And uh, you just get crisper and bigger uh, cursors when, when, when you need them. Uh, obviously, the hotspots need to be scaled correctly for, for that. We still need some more testing for that. The, my computer doesn't support that interface yet because it hasn't been fixed in the libraries that, that I use. Next, um, there was the actual um, shadows that were added to the dash icon sets. The, 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 the shadows look really nice, but unfortunately, Inkscape has a bug about how it calculates filters. These uh, shadows were all added using CSS. If you open up this, uh, these files in Firefox or Chromium or uh, any other SVG viewer, the shadows look correct. Um, but if you open them in Inkscape and Inkscape does the rendering for its cursors, you'll see that they're cut off. Essentially, the, the region that we're using um, is inc incorrectly calculated. And um, it's basically just the default, actually. It's, it's basically we can't read in the defaults. Uh, we can't read in the, the CSS-based filter regions. And our, our default is incorrect. Um, every, every single other renderer does a better job about filter regions than we have. Many years ago, I actually uh, fixed Inkscape's filter regions by developing a system for, for generating them automatically. But that was kind of just halfway. Uh, that basically allowed us to move from never updating the region at all. So when you increase the blur, it would just get cut off, for example, to actually being able to, like, the filters do adjust their fil filter region, but they save it, right? It's in the XML itself. Uh, and that creates other kinds of issues um, in this particular case because multiple files are being linked together. It's not reading in that filter region from those other files when it's applying the filter locally. Um, the real fix and the thing that I'm working on, I say working on, I mean banging my head against the wall against, is refactoring the code so that it's no longer relying upon those attributes existing in order to calculate the region correctly. No other renderer requires those the filter region to be explicitly defined in order to be able to render things. Uh, and so I think that's exactly what Inkscape needs to do. Okay, so that's that. 
Then there's the actual hotspots themselves. So I actually went through all of the dash icons and I reconfigured them, repositioning where the hotspots are. I had the designers look at it with all screenshots to make sure that I had made, made the right decisions because some of these hotspots require you to actually make a decision about where the logical place is, right? Sometimes it's obvious, but other times it's just like, who knows? Um, some of them were actually just uh, the fact that they'd added a border and they hadn't accounted for it. Other times it was they had a cross, but it was set to the like the stroke extent of the cross instead of the exact middle, uh, basically half a pixel out, which half a pi pixel, you can't see that on a standard scaled cursor, but you will see that if you scale the cursor up, right? You, it starts to get further and further away from the actual middle. Um, and other things like the, um, the dropper down instead of the dropper up was way out. Um, you know, since it was inverted, it was just wrong. So <laughs> I, I, I fixed all of those. Re uh, XML linted everything and, and merged it. Uh, that's looking good. Uh, there was a couple of other fixes that were necessary as well in code um, to be able to just improve things. And those all get done. I didn't intend to spend a lot of my time fixing cursors but sometimes you just see these issues and they have to get fixed right this is a user in, this is a this the kind of paper cut where you know you think oh it doesn't matter whether the, the hotspots are all at 44 but it kind of does like every single tool that you use having an inconsistent hotspot on the cursor just creates a little bit of um, dirt in the in the gears of your workflow right just a little bit bad to use and so um, I think it's important. So I got it fixed and I'll get the filters thing fixed because I think that's actually, uh, if the refactoring I do is um, uh, global enough, like it's not just cursors that this will fix. This will fix a whole bunch of other filter issues to do with regions being miscalculated. And it should also reduce the amount of XML that gets produced with fil filters. There's no reason to define, um, you know, the, the regions like, like that. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been work, work, working on. I've been doing some color interpolation uh, investigations, but I'll get to that when I've actually got some something to show. Um, it's been a, a slower week. I think people are taking a, a, a break from the um, from the, the summit. I almost called call it a hack fest. We did, used to call them hack fest. They're not the summits now. Um, so for uh, for that, there's been like a couple of things, merge requests and stuff, but not a lot going on. Um, so I guess that's about it for this week. Um, thank you all for watching this update video. Only one topic this time instead of, uh, I think, 20 from the last one. So I will see you next time.